become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding hi everybody golden era bookworm here and today i'd like to talk about this particular biography written by deborah stewart steve reeves legends never die i recently read this book and to be honest I was going to call it something else. I was actually going to call it Diaries of a Sex Slave, but out of respect for the legacy of Steve Reeves, I thought I would call the review a disrespectful biography of Steve Reeves because that is exactly what it is. To many of us Steve Reeves fans, we are always looking for a new information or books on Steve Reeves, who was undoubtedly one of the greatest bodybuilders who ever lived. But I can't recommend this book at all. Uh, not to a bodybuilding fan and not to a Steve Reeves fan or anyone for that matter. To give you my first impression when I started reading this book, when I just began reading this book around Christmas time, after the first few pages I was not only disappointed but I literally almost chucked it in the bin. I was pretty disgusted, actually completely disgusted, at what was written about Steve Reeves by the author who was Steve Reeves' partner and was actually living with Steve Reeves. And that's why I had to literally force myself to read the book to the end. I tried to keep as professional as possible uh, because I know that you, my fans, expect me to honestly review a book after I have read it from cover to cover. And that's what I did. So I forced myself really to read this book. This is not necessarily a biography of Steve Reeves' bodybuilding or movie career. So don't let the cover fool you because the cover is probably as good as it gets. The book only covers the last seven years or so of Steve Reeves' life and actually reads more like a cheesy sex novel. Although it chronicles the shows, the, you know, the bodybuilding shows, the meetings, etc. that Steve Reeves attended, uh, it'll, and it describes also the circumstances that led to his death, um, untimely death that is. The rest of the book is essentially written like a diary, uh, written by the author of course, and describes what appears to be, you know, these wild sex fantasies, one after the other. And it's very explicit, and to be honest, you just get sick of it. You just get sick of reading the same crap again and again. That's why I almost called this review Diaries of a Sex Life, but again... Out of respect for the memory of Steve Reeves, I decided not to. On top of the crazy sexual, probably but definitely made up fantasies, the author, Deborah Stewart, portrays herself as some sort of victim and portrays Steve as some evil tyrant. And she actually calls him Lord Tyrant throughout the whole book. To be honest, I just couldn't understand why she would do this. Uh, if the author who wrote this book truly disliked Steve and didn't love him at all, then why stay with him for so many years and go through all the things that she describes, which he apparently did? And then after, you know, Steve's passing away, why write a book victimizing yourself and making yourself seem so perfect and making Steve look so terrible? I mean, he's not there to defend himself at all. It doesn't make sense to me. Uh, the biography doesn't make sense to me at all, and to me it's just extremely disrespectful to the memory of Steve Reeves. As I said, he wasn't, you know, it was written after his death. He wasn't there to defend himself, and to be honest, she could have written anything because he wasn't present, um, and it seems that's exactly what she did. You know, she wrote some wild stories just to get some attention and to get to pe people to buy this book. That's exactly what it reads like. Um, my recommendation, therefore, is don't buy this book, don't read it, it's a complete waste of money, and there are much better biographies out there of Steve Reeves, such as the one written by George Helmer, who I consider still the greatest authority on Steve Reeves. For example, he wrote a fantastic biography called Steve Reeves, A Moment in Time, highly recommend that one instead. So that's my review of Steve Reeves' uh, Legends Never Die, it gets, you know, it gets a double thumbs down from me. Um, yeah, you know, 
anyway, I, I thought I'd quickly go through the, the book as well, just very quickly. As you see, it's just, if you can see um, the way it's written, yes, there's some photos of, of his, his days at the ranch with her, you know, uh, with the author. Um, but yeah, each chapter essentially is a, is a part of, of her diary. And as I mentioned, it's just really, really uh, explicit. Some of the sex stuff in there. I, I really didn't like reading any of that. You know, who, who wants to read about two old guys, you know, bumping fugglies, for God's sake. I definitely don't. And it's just a diary with sexual fantasies, essentially. And, um, yeah, I mean, at the end, you know, she just sounds like, oh, poor me throughout the whole damn book. Poor me, poor me. Steve Reeves is a damn tyrant, but I love him anyway. What kind of a what kind of a person writes like that? I just think it's ridiculous. As I said, gets a double thumbs down from me. That's that's my review of the book. It's um, not worth it. Yeah, it's over two hundred pages long. You know, I think it's two hundred twenty something or thirty something pages long. It's got yeah, I mean, it's got photos of, of Steve uh, until his his death, basically, and yeah, I mean. I don't think it's worth the money. I don't think it's worth reading. You're going to be horribly disappointed. As I mentioned, there are better books out there, like the one written by George Helmer, called A Moment in Time, available at his website. Anyway, if you have enjoyed this review, I've tried to review it as honestly as possible. I told you it was really hard to read this book because to me it was just trash. Um, if you've enjoyed the review, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content on the bodybuilding legends uh, to support my channel uh, please donate via paypal become a patron visit my respective websites for merchandise and out of print books available as ebooks and yeah um get in touch if you want to contact me on collaborations etc that's it for me this is the golden era book i'm saying bye for now now if you're interested in learning more about how steve reeves developed his rib cage i've got a wonderful new e-booklet up on my website www.goldenerabookham.com which explains a very rare and unpublished reeves rib cage and full body routine of course my website has many other booklets on steve reeves's methods specifically how i develop my waist how i develop my broad shoulders and another ebook on how he developed his wonderful diamond shaped calves all available on my website, www.goldenerabookworm.com. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash store slash goldenerabookworm for merchandise, including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases, and much, much more. Once again, at teespring.com slash store slash goldenerabookworm. To take full advantage of my collaboration with Old School Labs, please visit their website and choose from their marvelous range of supplements using my code BOOKWORM12. And for an entertaining look at the history of bodybuilding's supplement industry, I would highly recommend watching Subs the Movie, which I have collaborated in, available at Amazon Prime and Vimeo.